So my name is Jake Walsh. I'm a graduate student at the Center for Limnology. Um, and my research focuses on invasive species here in Lake Mendota, the spiny water flea, that might actually be making Lake Mendota murkier. Um, so the spiny water flea preys on Daphnia, which is a tiny crustacean in the lake that eats a lot of algae and actually helps keep our lake a lot clearer. Um, if you look at the water right now, the lake's a lot clearer because of how much algae Daphnia is eating. Um, and so I do research on the invader that's eating those Daphnia and making our water clearer. So the first thing I do when I'm on the lake is get a measure of water clarity and to do that we use a Secchi disc which is this really complicated device that looks like a plate uh, with different triangle markings on it. And so we'll drop it off the side of the boat, the shady side, until the plate disappears and that's our Secchi depth. Um, which is a pretty consistent measure of water clarity. Three and a half meters here in the University Bay anyway. So that's pretty good Secchi depth. Um, so to get a sense of how many Daphne are in the lake, we use this net here, uh, which we creatively call a zooplankton net. <laughs> Swimming around in the sample are all the tiny zooplankton that live in the water. I don't know what the resolution on this camera is, but some of the big ones that you can see in there are the Daphnia, um, and those eat huge amounts of algae. If you even look close, you can see that their digestive tracts are green. Um, you can see a lot of them. And so this is all the zooplankton that were in that column of water that we just pulled up, but these are the animals that are swimming around with you in the water that aren't fish. 